Welcome to the lab, where we learn about cryptocurrency, put it to the test, and put scams on blast. Today, this video will provide a simple explanation of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, an example transaction using Bitcoin, and why it's important to know the benefits and dangers of crypto and NFTs, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you're ready, Blockchain, we're going to draw this out. Let's get started. The blockchain describes a method or structure of recording transactions and information. The information is recorded in order and stored securely on a shared distributed ledger. For blockchain, this is an encrypted digital block of data. New transactions and new blocks are added to the previous block, creating a chain of blocks, or the blockchain, which serves as the distributed ledger. Okay, let's keep going. Here's an example of a transaction using Bitcoin among three friends. Each has 10 Bitcoins to start. Calculators ready? Let's work this out. Ghost gives Frankie five Bitcoin. Frankie now has 15, leaving Ghost with five. Frankie decides to give one Bitcoin to Count. Count has 11. Frankie is left with 14. These transactions and this information is stored securely on the blockchain. What's next is the shared or distributed ledger. It's a consensus of shared, synchronized data shared and spread over the network. To add blocks, that's done through mining. Miners use a proof of work function to find the nonce and they're rewarded with Bitcoin. New blocks are broadcast to the network. Blocks are verified by the nodes. And when a majority of nodes agree, a consensus is reached, the block is validated and gets added to the blockchain. Based on this understanding of blockchain and how it works, next is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and decentralized finance, a financial system that does not rely on intermediaries like banks or brokers. The exchangeable currency or value are the coins on that blockchain, like Bitcoin or Ether. Blockchain has been in use since the 1990s. In 2009, Bitcoin was introduced by an unknown person or group called Satoshi Nakamoto. Transactions are verified by network nodes through cryptography and recorded on a public shared distributed ledger known as a blockchain. Bitcoin is the name of the blockchain. The coin is a Bitcoin, not a physical coin, more like a digital address that's linked to a value and accessible by the owner of the coin. The value depends on the current market price of one coin. The Ethereum network is a separate blockchain and its native coin is called an Ether. More applications are possible building on the Ethereum network. That blockchain can store things like smart contracts, decentralized applications, dApps, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. And that's where the real usefulness and fun begins with cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And now, surprise quiz, what is a blockchain? If you don't know the answer, you can always hit rewind and look at videos from other content creators, diversify and verify information. Now, why is it important to know all this? We are all aware that corruption and controversy thrives in politics and finance. Possible benefits of adopting government-based blockchain projects could reduce the opportunity for corruption and improve efficiency. Using blockchain could provide increased transparency and disclosure of trading activities of large hedge funds and market makers. Providing increased transparency and disclosure for government procurement, contracts, elections, property ownership, and intellectual property as well. That's the good, so here's the bad and the ugly. Cryptocurrencies and NFTs have their own world of corruption, instability, and volatility. You can find plenty of pump and dumps, rug pulls, hackers and heists, coin scams and shit coins, bogus NFT projects promoted by popular influencers that get abandoned, and always market manipulation. Yep, quiz time. And what's next? More building on the blockchain with Ethereum, NFTs, dApps, and smart contracts. So slap that like and sub. All right, thanks. Peace.